Hey guys, we're going to do another recording of these comments on Ryan Denlinger's latest video that he, for some reason, allowed the comments on. And I'm kind of skipped down a little bit further and I just came across this one. The message reveals, Robert, you cannot even figure out that Kingdom of Heaven and Kingdom of God are synonymous with one another among the Synoptic Gospels. You're as bad as Brian in your dogmatic viewpoints. Amen. That is a comment that I agree with. That's something I've talked about before, how these dispensationalists or especially Reckmanites <clears throat> try to separate too many things and they separate the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven and, and they use it to teach the millennial kingdom reign on the on the earth thousand year reign of Jesus on the earth after the quote-unquote seven year tribulation which none of that is right but this is part of what they will use to teach that kingdom of God and kingdom of heaven are the same thing uh, used interchangeably those phrases um, because heaven is where God is it's God's kingdom but um, you know it's just the figure of speech and so uh, and I think kingdom of heaven's only used in Matthew <clears throat> but I'll continue Robert Breger said some stuff here I, I went I was reading through some of these. I don't think any of that's really too important. They're just going back and forth and stuff. Catching away. Uh, you know, they're saying that's what you say instead of rapture. That's what Brian Denlinger says. Just believe you need to repent. I can prove you wrong with children's math. Look, three persons, one God equals three gods. Everything you... Divide with one, stay the same, more math. You have three persons that are one, <laughs> one third God each. Okay. Yeah, that person doesn't understand the Trinity. This is just like a straw man that people against the Trinity would always use. That, you know, three persons teaches three gods. No, it doesn't. Like I said, what I read from the Norman Geisler book, that the Trinity isn't a contradiction because God is one in the sense of, um, essence as being divine god is three in persons okay so those are two different senses or two different relationships there <clears throat> there could be god one god made with three parts just as us we're not made with three parts there's two but whatever it's complete nonsense there Rapture in Greek means rape. <laughs> I've never heard that. And in Matthew 13, it talks about the parable of the sower, and that Satan catches away people. And Paul told the Thessalonica not to be deceived two times about the coming of the Lord. And in the parable of the tares, it says, the tares are gathered first in bundles and burned. I don't know the rapture stuff, but I don't want to be raptured. The Greek definition of what it means to be raped, abducted, snatched against your will. When I go with Christ, I'm going to be willing, and it also means to be caught up. I don't want to be caught up. I want to be <clears throat> gathered together. You need to check yourself. I think your short sleeve, white button up shirt's a little too tight, and you and your dry erase board are not the authority. Wow. Oh, by the way, it says there are one, not three in one. Big difference. It's not a semantically issue either because the Trinity says it's one God. But they're not one with each other. You've got three persons and one God. What are they, schizophrenic? <laughs> I'm a father, son, and a husband. He's a father, son, a husband. To be the Holy Ghost is the spirit of truth, the spirit of the bridegroom, that he's going to be the father is the husband man. The son is the bridegroom. They're the same one nowhere does it say three and one where do you where does it say trinity nowhere does it say god the son nowhere does it say persons you're a liar jesus should rebuke you return to your vomit this guy is pretty messed up okay just believe no need to repent amen it says salvation is easy Book of Relief, thank you. All Catholics agree with you, devil. Bravo, retard. 
Okay, that was a comment that I left. So, continue here. Those were all comments left on Robert Breaker's initial comment, except for some that I skipped over, but now this book of relief guy left a comment. Mother Harlot will not tolerate the brethren sticking to Bible terms only. So, this guy's defending Denlinger here, saying he's uh, rejecting the Trinity because it's not a Bible term. You're the moron. There's a lot of name calling and stuff here, huh? <laughs> Who thinks Ruckman isn't a Trinitarian? LOL. Even Denlinger knows better. Oh, you're the devil who denies Jesus is God and rejects Ruxman's body, soul, and spirit teaching. Good luck with that when you face the Lord of Lords and King of Kings. And then vote for Trump says, You are unhinged. The Trinity says Jesus is God. Go read Theological Studies Volume 1, where your hero Peter Ruckman will school you about the three separate persons within the Godhead, you unlearned moron. Wow. And we have said... Ruckman was wrong with his Trinity terminology, so do you still reject his body, soul, and spirit teaching? I think he was wrong about it being a Roman invention, but regardless, it's a tradition of men either way and not Bible terminology. Look up the definition of a person. A person requires a body. Does the fullness of the Godhead bodily dwell in the Father or your in the Father or in the Holy Ghost? You see the trouble with a lot of Trinitarians is they deny Jesus is God which is the worst blasphemy. The Bible makes it quite clear there is only one capital G God, the Father in Heaven. And quite clear, Jesus is God. <clears throat> For in Him dwelleth the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Hmm. Wow. You deny Jesus is the Father, you deny He is God. If you don't understand the body, soul, spirit teaching, you are more than likely lost. What do you do with First John 5, 7? Three that bear a record in heaven, they are one. How is this body, soul, and spirit? Also, the Father talks to the Son, and the Son talks to the Father, and they have love for each other. They would have to be persons. Tell me, can your arm talk to your foot? <laughs> I was once on board with the teaching that Brian teaches. I just can't deny the Trinity with three bear record in heaven, and they talk to each other and love each other. KJV is the strongest translation for the Trinity teaching. These really made me believe the Trinity teaching. 1 John 5, 7, Matthew 3, 17, Hebrews 1, 8, and John 20, 17, and others. But this is the main ones that stand out for me. If you can explain how these are not, I would like to hear your thoughts on it. <clears throat> so I think that guy's got some good points, I guess, about the person speaking to one another and loving one another. I have no problem with 1 John 5, 7. Maybe you need to understand the teaching of Peter Ruckman, body, soul, and spirit. Without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. Okay. <clears throat> Godhead. We should start calling them triple Bs. I'm a Bible believer, but... There's a ton of truth in that statement. True. Do you think it's okay for people to question the Bible if something doesn't make sense of contradicts what they've been told or learned? Thank you. Sound speech that cannot be condemned. One of the ways you separate from the lost is your speech. The trilateral Arians are only going to continue to call you a heretic because you question their high or their holy high traditions. Don't let them cathedral licking papists get to you. They'll get the strong delusion that's waiting for him, according to Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse one through twelve. Amen. God bless. Amen. The KJV sixteen eleven is all we need. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Brian, for your teachings. God bless. Most people don't have the sixteen eleven. Husky doesn't use the sixteen eleven much of his videos. Uh, I'm just skipping through some of these. Brian is a fool and stupid enough to not realize that Revelation 22:18 is talking about adding, subtracting to prof words and prophecies, the book of Revelation, before it was added to the Bible. That does not mean it's okay to change words in the Bible, but it's clear that with the context 
that's what was meant, right? Twist scripture all the time. There is no all we need Bible. I'll be a biblical by making a Bible and I don't. Hmm. Yeah, Revelation twenty two eighteen is a very interesting uh, verse because that's what people will use to teach that salvation can be lost too. I know that's what the Assembly of God will use, one of them. I think I've talked about it before, but it's definitely something I need to look over again and go over again. Philip Newton, he's a hardcore follower of Brian Denlinger, just like the JT does. It comes down to his brother, to this, brothers and sisters in Christ, when the post and mid-trib are being called out and proven to be wrong, all these people that stand for the Trinity would jump up and down and say we should only use Bible terms. Free time of Jacob's trouble is the title for that time. Why don't they have the same attitude to the Godhead? Why? Because they're hypocrites worshiping a false god in every other aspect of the Bible. You should only use the Bible in Bible terms, except when it comes to the Trinity. I don't even know if uh, Robert Raker left anything more besides what he already did. Uh, <laughs> Interesting, the roadside location for this video, do you have a sign that reads, We'll Preach for Money? Good one. Diane Sullivan. I like the way that people say Rockwell is a Trinitarian, but they reject his body, soul, and spirit teaching. This guy says that teaching was only an analogy to illustrate the Trinity, you moron. <laughs> Rockman believed and taught the Godhead, but used the false words of men. He did not teach the Trinity doctrine itself. Hmm... Why do you low IQ morons comment without doing the most basic of research? And you think you're an authority of the Bible and you can't even read Ruckman's book? Go read Theological Studies, Volume 1 by Peter S. Ruckman. The Trinity, of course, is not a Roman invention, as you hear falsely presented by the Campbellites. Peter Ruckman. There is only one God. However, a careful study of Scripture will show that God exists in three persons. That is, the Godhead is manifested in three persons. Peter Ruckman is a Trinitarian, 100%, and you modalists are heretics, 100%. Trinitarians deny Jesus is God. That's a straw man argument. Trinitarians don't deny that Jesus is God. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Hmm. <laughs> Never mind the childish behavior exhibited by the blatant character attacks. Morons, low IQ morons. This is not how I saved individual acts. So, let's continue to skip through these kind of, I don't know. Spiritual man sounds like something out of spiritual exercises of Loyola.
I understand your body soul teaching perfectly is unbiblical and retarded. Just because Ruckman made the body soul analogy to the Trinity does not mean that he teaches Dumblinger's version of body soul modalism. People are beyond dumb. That's why you're stuck in a heretical cult. So thanks, Brian. Keep up the great work. God bless. In the very near future, a new version will be added to the collection where Godhead is replaced with Trinity. Seventeen seven Jeremiah, one seventy seven. Brother Brian, do you realize that the word Bible does not appear in the Bible? Don't you? Ah, oh, he wrote a huge comment. Oh my. Okay, I've subscribed to this guy, and he has some good stuff, but a lot of dispensational teaching. But anyway, uh, you understand the Bible doesn't appear in the Bible, don't you? And yet you use the term constantly. As Brother Breaker pointed out, you also use the word rapture. Uh, he tries not to do that anymore, but but that very word does not appear anywhere in Scripture. The idea that that's behind this doesn't even appear in Scripture, but you know what that is, Brian. That's hypocrisy. It's called a double standard. The concept and doctrine of the Trinity, one God and three persons, is clearly taught throughout the Holy Scripture. In John 8:18, 8, Jesus tells the Pharisees that his Father bears witness of him, meaning that the Father is another witness, which means the Father is a person. Jesus Christ is another person in the Holy Ghost. What Jesus refers to as another comforter is the third person. A part cannot witness or testify of someone, but a person can both testify and be a witness. And for you to call this Bible doctrine of the Trinity a pagan idol is utterly foolish on your part. You have to overlook, ignore, arrest plenty of clear scriptures that affirm the truth concerning the Trinity, the Triune God, God in three persons, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. Indeed, something has happened to you. You used to be very sound in your preaching, and back in 2011, around that time, I started following your ministry and watching your videos. You were not this paranoid guy who was constantly looking for ways to attack the brethren who didn't agree with you on certain doctrinal issues. Now, you did expose heresy and false doctrine, rightfully so, but you did not make it your goal to criticize and attack every brother out there in the ministry who did not see things exactly the way you viewed them. You used to actually extend grace to others, but now this new Brian not only lacks grace and brotherly love, but he is exceedingly paranoid and constantly looking to attack other good and genuine ministers and brothers such as Robert Breaker, Greg Miller, and Ed Finninger. I have a few disagreements with Brother Finnier in regard to some doctrine, especially concerning the doctrine of repentance, but I'm not going to call him a pink papist or falsely accuse him. Furthermore, I believe that is a saved man, which is why I address him as a brother. What's happened to you, Brian, is very sad and tragic, and I believe one of the reasons for your fall and demise into heresy is due to your pride and lack of grace. Not only do you attack genuine ministers, but you also attack and despise the Lord's local churches, calling them Babel buildings, and you do it with such disdain. Very disheartening. And like Brother Breaker, I'm also praying for you, Ryan. I love you in the Lord, and I do not wish you any harm. But I pray that you would sincerely humble yourself before God and repent of your pride and haughty spirit, and that you would return to the sound doctrine which is in God's word, the blessed, blessed King James Holy Bible. This is going to get Cardinal Finninger all worked up. I expect a full ex cathedra rebuttal from him momentarily. Shame on you, Denlinger. Let's see what they said to that. A person is a body, soul, and spirit. For someone to say that God is three persons, that would mean that there is three separate individuals with their own body, soul, and spirit. This is something that I wanted to mention, too, because I read this. It's kind of like before I started recording these. Because, see, this is a straw man here. A person is a body, soul, and spirit. First of all, we're only made of a body and a spirit. Okay, not three parts, only two. Dichotomy, not trichotomy. But it's a human being, it's a human that's made of a body and a spirit. Not just person, okay, a human. So for someone to say that God is three persons would mean that there are three separate individuals with their own body, soul, and spirit. No, because God isn't human. But Jesus did take on 
humanity on the human body. You know, or he took on flesh. So, yes, when Jesus was incarnate, he has a body and a spirit. Okay, just like we do. But the Bible says that God is spirit. So, you know, this guy is confusing things and creating a straw man argument here, saying that a person has a body and spirit. No, it's the human beings have a body and a spirit. Okay. We are humans and we are persons, but because we are humans is why we have a body and a spirit. God is not human. But Jesus did take on flesh. And so, um, so yeah, there's that. Yet they claim God is one. The Trinity system doesn't make sense if you believe in one God. Keep up the good work. Ooh, a lot of comments on this one. By your definition of what a person is, when someone dies, they no longer have a body. They are no longer a person. Also, demonic spirits, for example, are not persons by your logic as they are without bodies. Faulty premises lead to faulty conclusions. Mm. Now, Philip Newton agrees with this guy that said that persons have a body, soul, and a spirit. Humans have a body and a spirit. <laughs> Where's your correction? Edifying, not giving an answer. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see. <clears throat> this might be my last video. It's over 20 minutes already, but... <clears throat> let's see. The original poster made an argument based on the concept of personhood requiring three components. I address his Aaronist argument based on the word person. There is some silence here. I'm just trying to skip through these. See if there's anything interesting to pick out here. Look up the definition of person. A person requires a body. No? Is the fullness of the Godhead bodily dwell in the Father of the Holy Ghost? Ugh. You're still waiting on an explanation of why you feel you have the right to change the gospel, Brian. You preach a false radical gospel. You say a person must believe that Jesus is the Father to be saved. Grasp what you said. That's what you said, and you still haven't explained yourself. You're still waiting, Brian. You still haven't explained yourself as to why you backed up JT does about faith in the blood of Jesus not, is not required for salvation. You still haven't answered those things, man. Let's say you see right now. Or, you don't make it one bit difference what you say about the training of Godhead at all. Who cares what you say? You are still guilty of a false gospel. That's what matters. Your views don't matter. Get back to the gospel, Ryan. The gospel, the gospel, the gospel. That's what people need to do. The gospel, not this Trinity nonsense. Good Lord, man. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. 
Lucky coincidence, fate, and destiny. These are words to explain away God's providence. These words shouldn't even be in your vocabulary. The word luck comes from Lucifer. Lucifer is the Roman god Fortuna, or should I say devil? Hmm. So what happened to these three are one, right in the KJV, don't be a noob. Philip says, yes, the key word in R. The Trinity people changed that to the word in. Got to stick with the Godhead of the Bible, not the words of man. Oh, 20 replies on this one. Jeez. Uh, getting kind of tired of this. Huh. They're arguing about the word Bible not being in the Bible and stuff, and whether it's okay to use it or not. That what it says to come to straw man arguments, you should take a good look at long look in the mirror. Does a Christian suddenly become a Satan loving heretic for daring to say the word Trinity even though it's a biblical concept? Matthew twenty eight, nineteen, you cannot give me one Bible verse that says I cannot say Trinity or any other word that expresses a proper biblical concept. Am I suddenly on Satan's team for saying monotheism? Have I sinned if I say the phrase verbal plenary inspiration <laughs> inspiration? Nonsense. Do you and Brian and all the others even know how to speak the truth in love? Ephesians 4.15 Can you actually teach something without calling someone somewhere a heretic? Do you even know what it means to instruct those that oppose themselves in meekness? 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 25 Where is your proper Christian attitude about the one reaping in desperation? Well, it's this. You can clearly see why they need three separate persons. It's all about deception. I was born into Roman Catholicism. I know the deceitful ways of the system. It took decades for me to get out of it completely. It cleared completely only when I stopped using perverted version of NIV and then New King James Version. I was saved, but went through so much confusion. KJV has given me peace. Nobody in the Babel building answered the questions. Uh, I had concerning the versions I was using, I had the KJV and read it, but I found the conflicts when I saw the scripture in it that was not in other versions. <clears throat> I knew it was supposed to be there, why did they remove it? That was one of the many questions. All the so-called Christian churches were the same, same sermons are cycled about every three years. I saw a pattern, needless to say, I left the building. Thank you for the short clip, Brian. So true, so true. Bless you, brother. Mm. 
think about done here. <laughs> Anyone who denies the Trinity shall be thrown in the lake of fire. Good luck denying your salvation, Brian. Thirteen replies. Oh. Hmm. Someone said, is this a video response to James from Ex-Catholics for Christ? James Patel? He definitely needs our prayer. He definitely needs our prayer. I reject him now. He's spewing crap. Breaker does. He shouldn't. Should have known way back when he was communication with Fenrir and that means trouble. What do I know? but I ain't watching anymore unless he repents. How is he an infiltrator? Hey, I love a lot of his stuff. Man, a lot of his stuff is spot on. Some of his street preaching videos are just plain awesome, hey, man. However, this is not how inf infiltrators start to show themselves. Her ways are more movable than thou can't know them. I am praying for him. Like you said, let's see if he repents of this. If he does not repent, I'll have to stop supporting his channel. I, too, love the street preaching videos I use. James and Patrick and his group as good examples. Makes me want to watch his last video see what he said. But, uh, yeah, I don't think the ex-Catholics for Christ are going to reject the Trinity doctrine anytime soon. Which is good. Ryan, you already know, we're the very last days, the final generation. Oh, the Trinity is a feminine title. Sorry to burst your bubble, the Roman cult Catholics. Uh, Trinitarians are polytheists. Lies. Dinlinger is not an academic person, and when it comes to theology, he's always confused. Isn't that the same argument Catholics use to argue against sola scriptura or scripture alone? Hmm. I don't get what that is. What, what argument? That it's not in scripture? Do they say that scripture alone isn't in scripture? Where does it say his soul was human, his spirit was human?
<laughs> this is interesting. Uh, the word Trinity is a container that holds everything that the Word of God has to say about the Godhead. The word Trinity is like a zip file that holds a lot of information about a particular subject. <laughs> Using the word Trinity is not a sin unless it is used in such a way that it contradicts the Word of God. Or the Word of God condemns it. It's an interesting way to put it. Getting really exhausted here, and I think it's almost at the end. Maybe. You forgot to delete the comments section. A lot of these people who attack Ryan have filthy mouths. Oh, a lot of people agreeing with Brian. It's very disappointing. That's the end, though. There's a couple more that I didn't scroll down to here, but okay. It's almost forty minutes of video. I just wanted to go through the comments and see what all was said. This will probably be removed before long. But I just wanted to see what people's different thoughts on the Trinity and stuff were. Just a lot of ignorance here, just a lot of back and forth bickering. and There was some good stuff. But just interesting. That's it. God bless.